वेलकम टू माई व्यूज एंड न्यूज़ सम न्यूज स्टोरीज़ फॉर यू मोस्टली रिलेटेड टू ऑन गोइंग इथियोपिया टिकराय एरटिया कॉन्फ्लिक्ट फर्स्टली इट सीम्स दैट इथियोपियन फेडरल गवर्नमेंट हमारा रीजनल गवर्नमेंट हैव डिसाइडेड टू मेक पीस विद फानो मलेशिया थाउजेंड ऑफ फानो फाइटर्स आर इन प्रेजेंट बट दे आर बींग रिलीस्ड देर आर सम साइंस which indicate that fano fighters are going to be released in coming days uh, some have been granted bails we have details for you secondly gata choreda tigray presidential spokesperson member of tigray people vision fund says executive committee held a press briefing today and he made a claim about uh, takese river front uh and about other fronts as well what did he say how convincing are the claims of gat chorada and tedas verde and lastly viewers uh, ethiopian government is not happy with the statement issued by eu yesterday yesterday eu spoke about two don't strikes uh, Uh, don't strikes on two consecutive days on tigray and about ertian involvement in the conflict uh and today uh, ethiopian mission in belgium diplomatic mission in belgium issued a statement in response to eu's statement firstly uh we know that uh, when the second phase of ethiopia tigray war came to an end in december 2021 and then in march this year a uh, unilateral cease fire was announced by ethiopian federal government agreed by tigray as well after that we saw that a campaign was launched in the amhara region against fano militia members especially in gajjum uh, we saw an intense campaign to arrest to detain fano commanders fano fighters and we saw several incidents of clashes between fano fighters and uh, federal forces regional forces and several were killed in uh, buldia uh, in gajjum too uh, the crackdown went on ethiopian federal government mahar regional government arrested not only fano fighters but also those who were supporting fano who were speaking for fano like journalists activists and thousands were put in prison Now, when the third phase of this conflict uh, is underway, which started on the twenty-fourth of August last month, uh, uh, it seems that Ethiopian government, Amhara regional government, are once again in need of Fano support. Uh, some signs are emerging, uh, indicating that uh, Fano fighters, thousands, uh, were in prison. could be released uh, today a court in bahirdar granted bail to some top fano uh, commanders from shawa and amhara fano unity members have been granted bail too have they been released it's not clear but reportedly they are being released shawa fano main uh, leaders are being released uh, a few days ago uh, a mayor in north shore zone of the amhara region was killed after that we saw clashes uh, and uh, ethiopian federal regional forces launched a crackdown against fano fighters uh, their houses were raided but now it seems that uh, Ethiopian federal government and Amhara regional government they have decided to release uh, some Fano commanders and fa- some Fano fighters. Will all Fano fighters be released? That remains to be seen. I think if this war goes on, we could see release of these Fano fighters. It was very expected uh, because uh, in the Amhara region, people, some groups, they have been calling for the release of Fano fighters, release of uh, Baldiras party officials, uh, release of uh, journalists like Tamaskan Dasalin, 
Atadio Stanto as well. Gradually, gradually, these persons could be released in coming days. Bahidar court has uh, granted bail to these Fano uh, commanders and members. Let's see, will they be released? Sometime it happens that a court grants bail, but police does not release those uh, who are granted bails. Uh, we have seen that in the case of uh, Sindhaji Hichikol and some Fano uh, fighters uh, in Bahidar. They were granted bail, but they were not released. Uh, but let's see, uh, will this court order be respected? We'll update you tomorrow about this development. If these Fano commanders, uh, fighters are released, it means that federal and regional governments have changed their policy about Fano and now they are going to use, they're going to deploy Fano to front lines. By the way, today East Amhara Fano of uh, Mere Budajo also released a statement. Uh, calling upon the government uh, to create unity in the Amhara region and to take action against those elements in the government which are against Amhara unity, which are pro-TPLF. So, East Amhara Fano indirectly uh, called for the release of these Fano fighters in prison who are being granted bails. Second viewers, uh, Gata Chaurida, a Tigray presidential spokesperson, today held a press briefing and he made some claims about some front lines. He reiterated what uh, Tadase Varade said uh, two days ago. Two days ago, Tadase Varade, Tigray uh, commander in chief of the army, of the military, of the regional force, claimed that uh, on all fronts, Tigray was successfully defending its territories and Ethiopian and Eritrean offensives had failed. Once again, Gatacho said the same. He shared some numbers. He claimed that uh, so far uh, on attack as a front, 90,000 uh, soldiers of uh, attacking army have been put out of action. Uh, means they have been killed, injured uh, or taken prison. They are not part of action now. And uh, the front, uh, TAC as a front, has totally collapsed for Ethiopian federal forces. Uh, the numbers shared by Gatacho and uh, Tadas uh, cannot be independently verified. But uh, ENDF has not secured any gains on the debit front so far. Have you seen anything uh, from the front so far, uh, Dadebut uh, and Mesabre as well? Uh, ENDF only uh, took back at the Arke. They managed to reach close to Mesabre, but uh, across Takase in eastern direction, we could not see any major advance uh, by ENDF Amhara forces, Amhara militias. So there definitely they suffered. Uh, losses and fighting on tack has been going on for days for almost uh, more than two weeks and we have been hearing rumors that Dadebut had come under ENDF control ENDF was about to reach Shere from Dadebut but we did not see any uh, proof that uh, ENDF was moving towards Shere from Dadebut or towards Shere Shara road from Dadebut it means that on this front definitely ENDF uh, and Amhara forces, they have suffered losses, they could not advance. How much uh, losses have they suffered? Yes, that can be debated. Numbers uh, are always inflated. Well, in armed conflicts, in wars, parties always uh, exaggerate. It's not something new. It has been happening for years, for morale boosting, uh, it happens. Uh, what is happening in Russia-Ukraine conflict? Both sides are making very tall claims in the daily official press briefings. There are thousands of uh, uh, aircraft, tanks, uh, APCs have been destroyed, uh, the two parties, but uh, visual confirmation of these losses uh, is very limited. The so same is happening here that Gatacho is making claims, uh, obviously inflated, but we cannot say that uh, ENDF has not suffered losses on tack as a front. Yes. ENDF, Amhara forces, they have not been able to advance on this front. It means definitely they have suffered losses. Their onslaught towards Shere Shararo has been repelled by Tigray forces. 
Third viewers, uh, Ethiopian government is not happy with European Union, which yesterday spoke about uh, Don Stikes on Makele and Eritrean involvement in this uh, conflict. EU said yesterday that the Don Stikes, uh, uh, which were conducted on Makele on uh, Wednesday and Tuesday, would endanger peace process. And it further said that uh, Eritrea uh, was uh, uh, complicating uh, the conflict by uh, involving militarily. Today, Ethiopian government uh, responded to EU had uh, appreciated Tigray for taking the initiative uh, of uh, announcing uh, cessation of hostilities. And today, Ethiopian mission, uh, diplomatic mission in Belgium released a statement uh, criticizing European Union. Uh, Ethiopian mission said that it was Ethiopian government which took the lead when it uh, announced ceasefire in March and after that several unilateral measures were taken by Ethiopian government to resolve the issue through dialogue. But TPLF did not respond positively. EU is uh, not uh, acknowledging Ethiopian government's efforts for peace. EU Ethiopia relations uh, have not been very ideal since the start of uh, Tigray Ethiopia conflict. Ethiopia US relations have improved. That is why Ethiopian government has received some loans, grants backed by those uh, institutions which are backed by US government. On the other hand, EU has not uh, restored financial aid for Ethiopian government so far, suspended last year. EU is demanding withdrawal of Eritrean forces from Tigray. It is demanding accountability for war crimes committed in Tigray, Amhara, Afar regions. Uh, so that is why uh, we saw this statement uh, from Ethiopian mission in Belgium. Thank you for watching.